Hello guys and welcome in this new video on the game engine series. In the previous video we talked about the map, layers and tile set. So we created our basic classes for those three components and yeah, the idea was to create like a map puzzle for that. But in order for us to create a map puzzle we first need to have a map that we actually gonna be using like this one right here on the screen. Now I I also thought it was important for me to somehow show you how this program right here work because we're gonna be using this to draw our maps and if I don't somehow explain how this actually works then um, you'll somehow get some problem in the future while trying using it. Now uh, the first thing I want to mention is you can download this, pro this program from the I think map editor.org I'll also provide the link in the description below so this version is what I'm using right now at this time I'm doing this video this is um, yeah the last version and uh, maybe when you're watching this video there is new stuff out definitely go out and check download the new version because I think they they have some consistent uh, release that's why you can you can somehow download the last version but if you have any problem you can still stick with this one you can see old version right here simply download them the installation is very straightforward you have a setup on your computer and you will simply have to run that setup right here I have this setup you just double click that setup and yeah there is no environment variable or any kind of thing to set here so it's very straightforward after you've installed the program on your computer you will have this this kind of you know this this windows on your screen and this is actually where you got you actually going to be drawing your map now we're going to be creating a new map because if i just kind of go out with this then probably have some problem the way you're actually going to do this i'm actually going to be closing this now when you open your program for the first time you have something like this and you can simply go out here and create a new map so we're going to be creating a new map so this is the size of my map so the width of our map will actually have 60 tile and each tile actually has 32 pixel as a 32 by 32 but this is the width and the height is gonna be 20 tiles so 20 for each uh, 32 pixel that's the ID we also have some important component up here now um, the orientation is actually the one who is actually going to be telling how your map should look is it going to be isometric or hexagonal so we're just going to be using the squared form because we have square tiles and it doesn't make sense to have hexagonal stuff when we're using square forms and the format is going to be csv so those are other format right here which are compressed and uncompressed will you will need to you know use a decoder to decode what's actually inside and we don't want to do that we we simply go out with a simple version because the CSV one actually has something like this. Let me find a file. Oh, I have a lot of things open right here. So let me open this one. Yeah, the CSV encoder actually show you the IDs of each tiles I, as I was talking about in the previous video. It's easy for us because we're simply going to be getting those IDs and just use them to make our uh, texture drawing. So that's important. That's why we keep this CSV, and this is how things are gonna be rendered right to down. So it doesn't matter. Those are custom and default values. You can simply keep them like that. So we say save as. Now go to your project folder. So mine is on the desktop. We have this assets folder. I'll go in there and I'll create a new folder called map. So let me arrange my microphone a little bit. So I have this folder called maps and you can simply give this name map to it. I think that's enough. So now you will have something like this appearing on your screen. You can see right here we have our map which is this grid right here and um, yeah on the side right here we have tile set. This is where our tile set are going to be um, drawn when we want to take a tile and draw it on the map and here down here we have the layers you can still change the layout of this but i will keep it like that so for me and uh, i also want to show you some couple of uh, important things like 
when you want to view something that is not appearing you can simply go here on view view and toolbars and here you can choose whatever you want to show for example whatever maps so you see we have here this folder appears and you can choose a lot of things right there and if you also want to hide for example the layers down here you can simply uncheck this and the layer will simply disappear but since we're going to be using layers it's important for us to have it oh i chose map so let me go back view and then uh, layers so we have our layers down here now those are the basics on the about tile and we still have some tool some tool set right here some tool that we're going to be using but before we start using them i think it's important for us to somehow add a new tile set but we still have to add that tile set in the folder of our project so i have to open the, the project folder let me go to my desktop soft engine assets map so i want to add a tile set right here which i'm going to be using in the future to make our um, stuff so let me find this i have this somewhere here so got it here now let me open this and show you it's an image like this as you can see right here it's a 32 by 32 tile set we have a lot of component that we can use to draw our map now um i got this this is not me i didn't create this tile map it's important for me to mention that i downloaded it from this website but i i kind of don't know anymore where um, i download it so i don't have the link anymore what you can actually do you can download this with the source code in the description below or you can still get a tile set right here and use it it doesn't matter which one you're using that that's not important actually that's not the point so we have this one right here i also need to add another one because we're going to be uh, dealing with multi tile set stuff so i need to find that so this one also paste it right here this is another one where we actually have some component that we can add like flowers and trees and you know rocks that's actually uh, some component that we have there so now i want to add that tile set to my pro to my map right here i just click on this new tile set right here so i'll simply click on this and go to browse and this is in my project so i just choose this one for example and yeah make sure you click on this checkbox right here because we want to embed our tile set directly in our tile map if you don't do that then this program will actually create a separate file for the tile set and then a separate file for the map and we don't want that you see right here we have tile set and we have some information about we want to embed that in in our map so that make sure you check this because if you don't do it it won't work for you now the tile width is 32 and the height is also 32 sometimes it happens that your map has a margin so it's a margin the margin sometimes one pixel or two pixel top or something like that so but ours doesn't have something like that we just push ok and we have it right here now we can see we have this kind of grid which separate all images this grid is actually like the tile size with 32 by 32 and yeah each each box here has an id so it starts from zero till the number of tile that we have on this tile set so the last one right here this one is the last one so we start here till here and if i go to this guy for example whenever i choose an image you can see right here we have the idea so if i start here we have the uh, the tile with id zero and this is the last one now if you go ahead and open this map file in vs code or whatever text editor you have so let me try to open this I need to find it first so I need to go folder right here go to my desktop soft engine assets map and i want to right click and open it with vs code you can open it with notepad or whatever you might want to do so you can see right here we have this matrix you see since we haven't draw any uh, texture any tie right now all ids are zero and um, yeah we also have this tile set up here which we added you see we have some information about like 
the first ID is 1. It's 1 because by default 0 mean no tile. But you've seen here when we click on, on, on a tile set, the, on, the first, on this first tile set, the ID was 0. But that doesn't make sense because if this is 0 then it will never show up. So that's a little bit annoying. But yeah, we will deal with that like that. So we have this tile set right here. The first ID is 1. The name, we have this name which we're going to be using and pass it to our texture manager so that we can load the texture with it. We have the width, so it's 32 by 32, the tile count and the tile, the columns. So the, we have like, uh, I think 60, 60 columns. I think so, yeah, yeah, it's here. This column is actually the width. Uh, no, this column is for the tile set and this column right here is the width of this. Um, of this layer right here which is the number of tile that we have in that map now uh, down here we have our layers so the first one you can name to change the name background first background you can add more layers so let me add another one and say something like this and you can change you can push one up and down because when we'll be passing this, they're going to be passed in this order, in this right order. So if you want to interact with this one, for example, this will be the first tile. If you want to deal collision with that one, it's important to put your, your right order so that you don't have struggle later with that. So I think that was the basics about uh, this. Now we're going to be uh, drawing some maps. So just pick up the tile right here and just throw it on the screen. So it doesn't matter if it looks nice or not. And uh, yeah, and uh, we want to add another tile set, the other one with the object. So we add this one right here. So yeah, all the information are there. We make sure we embed it in the map and we say OK. So I can simply go ahead and you can even grab more than one tile. So you don't have to put one to take one by one. You can grab uh, many tiles and just paste them like. I can paste this on the background, for example, on this layer right here. I don't want to paste it in the foreground. Yeah, you can take another one and just put it somewhere. Just like that. So that's, that's how you can actually draw your map. Now, we're going to be uh, leaving this like this for now. We don't want to do something pretty special. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be giving you the link from for the map I created for the demo you see in the beginning, so you'll be able to access that and use it in the future. But for now, we don't need a huge map. We only need something that could be yeah passed and drawn on the screen. And uh, yeah, up here we have some component that I want to show. This one is to erase, so I can remove. Make sure you select the right layer on which you want to erase something. Because if I select T1 for example, trying to erase then nothing will happen to this one right here so that's why it's important to always make sure that you select the right layer which you want to erase stuff on this one is to select because you can also deal with copy and paste right here so I select this I can say Control C and Control V to paste and you see even though I've selected more than even though I selected all these it only selects the layer which is selected so that's why it's important always make sure you're trying to select the right layer so and you can copy and paste and I can just edit uh, where, wherever I want to edit so just like that so and we also have this one this one is used to fill um, fill some places with a specific tile so I can select a tile right here and whenever I select the place here it will fill with that tile easily so because sometimes you want to fill the whole screen with like grass or ground and you don't want to do it for each tile it will take you know like thousand years for you to make that and uh, yeah I think those are the most important component we have there's still more I am not an expert on, the, uh, on this I'm not a graphic designer or a pixel art guy so I just use those basic tools to show you how you can basically create maps you have more you can still make your own research and perform more and that was important for me to show you this before we get started with the map puzzle so I think that's it for this video if I haven't forgotten anything so I also want to encourage you guys to go out and support uh, my work on patreon 
If you have any question or concern, write me in the comment section below and don't leave without subscribing. Like if you like if you find this content interesting. So, ciao.